Hey. So my predictions were... Let me, let me take a swig of this chalky milk. <sighs> okay. My predictions. I predicted Lewis would win. I predicted the podium would be Lewis, Charles, and Sergio. I said Lance Stroll would get points because he's a king and we love to see a king winning. I said Albon would not finish the race. And I think that's it. I think those were my predictions. Off Atari and Sergio Perez Dude, leads Max them into the Stappen. first corner as he Max Verstappen went literally nowhere at that start. But Sebastian Vettel, he got a great start. Sebi killed it with that start. Perez got a great start. Kevin Magnussen, always. I saw a meme on um, Formula Dank that was like, name a better duo, Kevin Magnussen and black and orange flags. Tiffy literally said, ooh, a wall, I want to go into it, as usual. And then the team brought him in and was like, nah, you're literally just dangerous. I'm taking you out of this race. I don't know if that's what actually happened, but that's what I feel like happened. That's what in my heart of hearts I feel like happened. 350, let's make it a good one. Come on, 350. Let's make it a good fucking race. Come on, Alonzo. You can do it. You can do it. <clears throat> just kidding. You have an engine that's going to explode on you. <laughs> there was this really dramatic, like, a Shodiuki in the rain. <laughs> Fine, because it looks so dramatic. Points. There it is. Like there it is. And, uh, Doesn't that look so dramatic? Yeah, Way too cold. Make such a bold move. Way too cold. On slicks, bro. On slicks. Maxi, Maxi, Maxi. Come on, Maxi, man. You can't do this. You can't be doing this. George Russell turns into someone. What happened? Where are you going, Lewis? Where are you going? Just this track. I love this track. Um, this race wasn't the most exciting race. There was a lot happening, but it was still kind of- I don't know, it was weird. There was no DRS for most of it. So the fact that there was no DRS for most of it, it was like... Stuff was happening, but like, it wasn't a super exciting race race? I don't know. Oh, they didn't show Ocon- they didn't show Ocon's fucking engine. That was way cooler. Hold on, we'll find- You can see the tire treads are still pretty intact on that Alpine, at least. And it was the same for Fernando Alonso and the Williams that stopped. So there's still a bit of life in those intermediates you yet. You hear that? I- Both I Alpines out of the race as we get a re- How crazy was that? Absolutely insane. Okay, Singapore. I love this race. I love this track. I think it looks so cool. Um, I like that- I like the rain makes it a little spicy um don't like that latifi decided that he was gonna <laughs> ruin joe's race when his family was there joe's family was there and they looked so disappointed that he was out of the race and i was like yikers um yeah i felt bad for joe like really bad for joe latifi I like how his, t his team was just like, yeah, maybe don't, maybe just don't go back out. Just stay in, stay in with us. Just hang out. Just hang out here. We know Leclerc loves, he absolutely adores getting pulled for a Red Bull to win. It's like his favorite thing to do, I think. Based on how often he's done it, I think that it's his favorite thing to do. I could be wrong, but... Checo had a really good race. I know he got that five second penalty. I wish they would have decided the penalty during the race instead of afterwards and after the podium- at least before the podium celebrations. They had time to. They had like 20 laps to figure it out or something like that. I don't know- I don't know exactly, but they had a lot of laps to figure it out. They could have figured it out before. They didn't need to talk to him to figure out why that happened. Um, Lewis? Dude, I thought Lewis could win. Mercedes, I was like, oh, they can do it. Lewis can have a win. Lewis did not have a good race. Lewis had a race to forget for sure, as did Max, but Max also had a qualifying to forget. Max was so upset, and I don't blame him. I would be too. I'd be so mad. The McLarens had a great race. They're now ahead of Alpine in the 
Constructors Championship. I think four points ahead in the Constructors Championship, so hey, good for them. The man, the king, mm, the best, the best person on the grid, love of my life, Lance Stroll, came home with that sweet, sweet, sweet P6. Oh my god, I was so happy. I'm so happy. George Russell. Um, he just did not, he, he, they said, hey, put on these slicks, see how they do. You are a guinea pig. He said, no, okay. And then he said, no, they'll, they're, they'll, they will come to life. He was like a stubborn, like a stubborn, like, you know, like when people get old, like, it's like, okay, grandma, you can't drive anymore. But she's like, no, I still can drive. They were like, okay, these mediums aren't working. He's like, no, I'm going to make them work. Um, at least that's how I imagine it happening. The Haases were there too. Um, Mick had some stuff going on with George Russell. Came back, got that <laughs> black and orange flag. Again. Poor man. Poor man. That really, you know. That has to feel so bad. Okay. Yuki, SD Bestie. Uh, Alonzo, Albon, Latifi, and Joe, DNF. Yep. My driver of the day was Lance Stroll. I don't care. I know Perez got driver of the day and he deserved it. I'm not saying he didn't deserve it, but my driver of the day was Lance. I, he had such a good day. My driver of the weekend was Perez though. He did well. Red Bull. Checo. Sergio had a better race better weekend overall it wasn't entirely max's fault for the uh qualifying bullshit, but he made mistakes these are like the first mistakes we've really seen from max this season i think it, correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure these are like the first like big mistakes we've seen from max this year ferrari charles didn't really do anything wrong either he just had um He just had a uh, bad time trying to catch Checo. <laughs> the Ferrari rears lose grip so quick, and I don't know why. I'm not an engineer, so I won't know. I might, I'm probably just as good as the Ferrari engineers, though. I can make some educated guesses. Not really, but I'm just gonna say I could. For McLaren, Lando did better during the race and during qualifying. Uh, Lando made it out of, uh, made it out of, made it into Q3. You know who didn't make it out of Q1? Danny Rick. Aston Martin. I've been waiting to talk about this one, who I think had a better weekend. Lance outqualified his teammate and finished higher in the race, and Lance did a good job. So, all of you Lance haters, you're gonna have to wait to clown on him again because he had a great race even though people still somehow blame him for Vettel getting passed. It's still some everything somehow Lance's fault, don't worry. Mercedes Lewis had a better weekend, but he still had such a terrible race. He qualified third and finished ninth. Alvatari, obviously Pierre had a better weekend. However, Pierre didn't have he didn't have a terrible weekend. He still got that last point. But he didn't do amazing either. He qualified 7th, finished 10th. Yuki, DNF, because of his own mistake. And what can I say? Alfa Romeo? <sighs> I feel like Alfa Romeo- You guys are talking to Lance right now because... <sighs> but Valtteri finished, finished the race. Heh, <laughs> finish. Sorry. Val <laughs> Valtteri finished the race. But... He has more experience, so I'd expect him to finish the race. If he had a DNF... You know? Also, it's not Joe's fault that he didn't finish the race and he outqualified his teammate. So this one's really hard for me, because I don't think Joe- Joe didn't do anything wrong. He just got hit by Latifi. Mm. I'm just gonna skip this one because I don't want to Haas. K-Mag did better. But K-Mag loves to get black and orange flags. 
I still think K-Mag did better though. Alpine, obviously Alonso was having a great race before his engine decided it wasn't gonna be. Uh, Ocon was having a race. <laughs> I'm a, uh, Ocon's my favorite driver, but this was not, this weekend was not, was not it for him. I know he said he had brake issues during qualifying and he didn't get out of Q, Q1, but he just, I, he didn't have a good race. I don't care how you spin it, you can like try and make excuses for him, but Alonso did better. That's all there is to it. I feel like people try and make excuses for their favorites and like, I defend my favorite. I do. Do I defend my favorites? Lance knows. We defend our favorites in this household. But... If someone's better, I'm gonna- If someone performed better, I'm gonna say they performed better. And Alonzo performed better over the whole weekend, so... Williams? Albon obviously did better. Did he DNF? Yes. But also, he didn't ruin someone else's race along with him. And that's everyone. <laughs> so yeah, my W for the weekend. Driver of the day. Big W. Lance Stroll. My L for the weekend. Big L. Alpine. <laughs>